We're an hour from Cuenca, deep in a pine forest and off the beaten track. In the last two years, some amazing fossils have been discovered here, some dating back to over 100 million years. A great location for macro photography. Benjamin and Magda both have a 60mm macro lens. As Benjamin is more experienced, he can experiment while I work with Magda on the basics. Macro means getting really close to your subject. On an overcast day like today, this is challenging as we'll physically be blocking out the light. I've suggested Magna selects a small aperture, f11 or f22, for greater depth of field and to bring out every detail. We're using a low ISO speed of 100, giving us a fine grain image. But to achieve this, we'll have to compromise our shutter speed to below a 60th of a second. This means steadying ourselves with a tripod to avoid camera shake. I've given Benjamin a simple ring light. More light means faster shutter speeds, which means greater mobility. This frees him up to experiment with depth of field and composition. Finally, this extraordinary dinosaur footprint gives Benjamin a golden opportunity to try out an off-camera speed light. Lighting the imprint from the side will bring out the detail and depth from the flat surface of the rock. On our return to Cuenca, we can experiment more with what we've learnt today. Good macro photography means making precise decisions about the point of focus. Get it right, and you can choose exactly where your image will be sharp. Invest some time in learning about your camera. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve.